Oh my god. Nine one, where's your emergency? Okay, we have an ambulance. My friend shot himself. 22-year-old Florida student Timothy Engelhart died on September 13, 2014. The victim's friend contacted 911 and told them that he shot himself. But the truth of that fateful night is still unknown. We think he's dead. He shot himself. Try to, try to sit down, okay? He said, Holly Hill, Florida. Okay. He shot himself? Yes. Where's the gun? It's in the room where he killed himself in our front room. Oh my gosh, relax, Jake, I'm calling my mom on relax. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Man, you calm down, okay. How many yes. people are there? There are four of us and then the a friend who shot. Okay, try to calm down. What's your name? My name is Okay, we've got help on the way and you guys are just okay. Have, okay. Don't, Jake, sit don't. down. I don't I'm sorry, I'm you, kidding. I don't want you to touch the weapon, okay? Okay, we're not. We're not. Is it, Jake, is relax. It stand still? Yes, it is. It is. He's on the front porch. Ambulance is coming. Relax. Okay. The last time you looked at him, ma'am, do you think that he he had passed away? I think he did. He was so sad and he fell over. Oh. It didn't look like he was moving at all or breathing or chest wasn't moving. No. He sort of relax. Just sit down. The friend belongs to my boyfriend here and he's he's very upset because he feels responsible for it. Relax. Relax. Calm down. Relax. 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 I'm sorry. I'm Just sorry. Relax. Everybody as calm as you can. Okay, can you guys go outside for me? We are outside. We're in the backyard. Jake, sit down. Relax. Sit down. Sit down. Relax. Relax. Sit down. Relax, Jake. Sit down. Sit down. Jake, sit down. Sit down. Relax. 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 Sit down. Relax. Is there a gate that they can come through to get to you guys in the backyard? Yes. We have our neighbor here who's who's helping us stay calm. We hear the sirens are coming. Jake. Jake, please calm down. Please sit. Jake. the gun, ma'am? Yes, it is okay. his gun. He They're is pulling up him. now. They're pulling up now, okay? So nobody... I didn't you know. kill him. No, you didn't. Relax. You didn't kill him. Relax. He... Oh, my God. I can't believe he did that. Okay. They they can't rule it a suicide until they check out the scene. Oh, my God. Okay, I understand. They come in with a gun drawn, okay? Okay. Jake, relax. They're gonna, she said they're going to come with, a gun, with their guns drawn. Okay? They may. Relax. They may. So don't, don't they freak might. out, okay? So don't freak out. Just relax. Lay down and relax. I'm here with you. We're all here. I I was there with you, and they, it stayed with him. He's trying to take it away from him. Oh, my God. I can't believe that just happened. It's surreal. I'm not sure that just happened. Jake, relax. Relax. What's he doing before he, he pulled the gun on himself? He was stressed. We tried to tell him that, you know, talk him through the stresses that he had. He was very stressed about everything. <laughs> we didn't think the gun was loaded. We didn't think he was serious. He wanted to hold the gun. Uh huh. We didn't think he was going to do that. Do you think it was an accident or do you think it was on purpose? I very much think it was an accident. I think that he was just not thinking that, that we, none of us realized there was a gun in the chamber. There's a round in the chamber. And, okay, yes, sir. I'll okay. let you go, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. The aspiring meteorologist was having a BBQ with friends at a rented house in Daytona Beach. On the eve of his death, he allegedly made suicidal remarks after making a phone call and later went to a friend's home in Holly Hills to feed their dogs. This is when he reportedly put the gun to his head and tried to pull the trigger. The gun's magazine had been removed, but there was still a bullet in the chamber. Four others had purportedly been at the home when the incident occurred, including Jacob Eldred, Charles Eichler, and Rachel Schlossberg, who reportedly tried to stop his friend from killing himself, but in his attempts to take the gun from Englehart when he accidentally pulled the trigger. 
Englehart, who was due to graduate the following year, suffered a single gunshot wound to the head. Police reports made by witnesses of Englehart's death contradict one another, but one states clearly that the victim had grabbed the gun and pointed it towards his head. Eldred attempted to stop him, his finger accidentally pulling the trigger. At the same time, another account by witness Stephanie Lauber, who was also there, says that the victim had seen the magazine being removed from the gun. She witnessed him place the gun to his head and pull the trigger, collapsing to the floor. Lauber continued her account by telling police that she believed it was an accident and that the victim did not think there was actually a bullet in the chamber. Bill Engelhart, the victim's father, has disputed the accounts by Eldred and his friends. He claims that his son had not been suicidal. He said that the police report compiled was full of lies, making exceptional reference to the fact that the victim had called home shortly before his death. Phone records proved that there had been no call made to either parent. Police investigations revealed that the gun was found in another room away from the body. According to Eldred, who admitted to holding the gun when it went off, claimed that he had placed it on the coffee table in the other room after the incident occurred. The 26-year-old was charged with a misdemeanor three months later and all additional charges were dropped. The victim's parents were outraged by this, stating that they believed the truth of what happened that night was covered up by the four people who had been in the home. Bill noted in an interview that they had been waited three months for this report and it's a whitewash. His grandmother had just told Tim that she would pay for his flight ticket home. He was happy. Why would he take his own life? We want answers. Almost 10 years later in 2021, Bill and Therese Engelhart are still demanding answers, wanting justice and the real truth about their son's death. That was quite disturbing to have to hear that somebody was going through an episode of life and they couldn't handle it. Um, we don't know exactly what he was dealing with, but like I tell everybody, we all dealing with the same thing and that's a problem. But we all have them. We all have them that come to us differently, you know. So um, sad to hear that he killed himself, whether he knew it was a bullet in there or not. Playing with guns is not cool. Um, his friends, I think, shouldn't have gave it to him for the simple fact. He was talking how he was talking, acting the way he was acting. I do not want a weapon in your hand. Matter of fact, you don't even need to be around any type of knives, forks. Hey, it's glass in here. You know, we need to get away from this house. Go for a walk. That's what they should have did. This story out of Virginia is really unbelievable. This is Abby Zwerner, a 25-year-old first grade teacher. On Friday, a fight broke out in Abby's classroom. It's not clear what the argument was about, but according to another student's mom, Abby told her students to run. It turns out, a six-year-old student in Abby's classroom brought a gun to school. Abby tried to confiscate the gun from the student, but in the scuffle, she was shot. Thankfully, all the students managed to get out of the classroom unharmed, but police say the shooting was not an accident. Abby was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries where she is still in critical condition. The community is outraged. This child we have to do something about this country. We've got a new governor now. Let's do something. Let's change it. You've got a beautiful country. You've got beautiful people. But what's the problem? Guns. The student is in police custody, but legal experts say it will be next to impossible to charge him with a crime because Virginia doesn't allow six-year-olds to be charged as adults. But an adult could face charges if the gun came from the student's home because the state requires guns be secured from children under 14. 